Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a Hirons Boot CD um, that you can actually boot off a USB thumb drive. Uh, I was asked to do this after creating the Hirons Boot CD uh, tutorial in Ubuntu 12.10. Uh, this will also be in Ubuntu 12.10. Um, it's actually a very neat process uh, and it works really great. It actually I believe works faster off your USB thumb drive than it would off the CD. So. First off, uh, the Hirons Boot CD 15.2 has uh, hundreds of utilities that you can use to fix your laptop or, or PC, uh, whether it's hardware or software, viruses, anti, uh, sorry, uh, uh, spyware, you name it. Um, if you've got an issue with your laptop or hard drive or your uh, PC, uh, this is more most likely uh, be will most most likely be able to help you out in fixing it. Um, so. I'm going to post the links to all these uh, information pages on the uh, um, description just to make it easier for you. But the uh, info on Hirons Boot CD 15.2 is at www.hiron.info forward slash pages uh, forward slash boot CD. Um, you can peruse that at your own leisure. Um, I'm going to go to the download page for the Hirons Boot CD and that is at uh, www hiransbootcd.org forward slash download and as you can see the latest version is 15.2 now you scroll about halfway or two-thirds of the way down and you'll see that there is a uh, box with a, a green box with the file name of hirons.bootcd.15.2.zip and that's the file you want to download it's a zip archi archive file uh, you'll have to use your archive manager which is built right into Ubuntu anyway so that's no big deal and uh, we'll just uh, I'll uh, click on the link and it will begin your download so I'll uh, start that and cancel it but I'll just do it just to show you there it goes starts downloading I don't need it because I've already downloaded it to my desktop just to make life easier and faster for us okay and uh, you're gonna need a software program called Unit Booten and this this uh, program will allow you to create the uh, bootable USB key with this uh, uh, live, uh, uh, what do you call it, Hiron CD. Okay, so there are three options. There's down. There's Windows. Uh, there's a Windows version of Unit Booten. There's a Linux version of Unit Booten, and, and a Mac version of Unit Booten. Now, in theory, you can do the same process in all th uh, three operating systems, but we're only going to cover Linux here. And uh, you don't need to download it from here either if you have uh, Ubuntu uh, 12.10 as it's in the uh, repository so basically to get the uh, unit booten we're gonna minimize this close out the stuff here and go to our dash home in the dash home we're gonna type in soft actually Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu software and as you can see mine's already there software center so when I go to the Ubuntu, ah, Ubuntu software center click on that Sorry for the wait, guys. <clears throat> there it is. Okay, and I already have it installed, but uh, the way you would install it would be to type in, once my search bar comes up, okay, it would be U-N-E-T and as you can see mine's already installed but it B-O-O-T-I-N would get you to you know Unibootin and at that point you'll have a, an install button as opposed to mine where it says remove because it's already installed I'm just showing you um, I don't want to go through the process of installing because it takes more time you can do that on your own if you don't have it and um, if you do then just keep following along okay so once you have the unit boot uh, software installed close that out the software center out and next thing you need is your USB key and I have it right here my USB key already has hirons on it which is a problem um, not a real big problem 
it's uh, just basically we just need to get rid of all that data on it so you want to start with a fresh key so we're going to format this this uh, key and uh, in so doing we're going to lose all the data on it so if you don't want to lose all the data on it don't do this but I, I like to start with a fresh key so in uh, in your dash home type in disks disks and you get the disk utility okay and as you can see I got a terabyte drive and an 8 gig big uh, 8 gig thumb drive now highlight the 8 gig thumb drive and you'll see uh, you have you know uh, your thumb drive here ready to be worked on uh, as you can see here note that it's where it's uh, actually mounted it's mounted mine is mounted at uh, dash dev dash sdb1 now that's important because uh, um, unit bootin will want to format your thumb drive and you want to make sure that it's formatting your thumb drive and not something else okay because if you're writing this to anywhere else there's a chance you're going to lose you know a lot of data so don't write to your hard drive make sure you write to your device which is listed right down here in your uh, uh, disk utility okay so make sure you verify where that's at so that you can verify when you go to use the tool that makes this thumb drive work uh, is it, that it's pointing to the right place so first thing we're going to do is unmount it so you see three buttons down here the first one is unmount the file system so we're going to unmount that and there it is it's unmounted you can't f actually format it when it's mounted then uh, we're, we're going to click on the gears and then click on format now just go with all the defaults it says don't over don't overwrite existing data quick because we want to do this quickly compatible with all systems and devices fat which is what you want and you can name it whatever you want here the default is is uh, new volume I'm going to call it higher ends irons and then I'm going to click format and this will happen relatively fast so I'll click on format now remember you're going to lose all the data on this uh, thumb drive so if there's something on that thumb drive you want get it off now and don't do this I'm going to go ahead format as you can see it says creating file system fat32 LBA bootable that's what we want and then the device says uh, dev sdb1 okay that's where it's actually mounted so now you've got a formatted um, thumb drive that's totally empty and then we're going to mount it again by clicking the um, left side uh, button here this says it looks like a play button it just says mount file system so we mount it and we should see a uh, listing of that drive come up, popping up here in a second unless it makes a liar to me and it looks like it has okay so now it's mounted we can actually get out of this utility now once again look where the device is, is actually mounted dev for sorry dash dev slash dev slash sdb1 uh, yours may be mounted somewhere else but make sure you verify where it's at close the disk utility now near the bottom there's my hirens disk so I'll, I'm gonna my USB flash key open it up and as you can see it's empty so we're ready with that now um, I don't remember closing off unit booting but it looks like I did so let's open it up again there it is now it says this application uses uh, root checks and lets you modify essential parts of your system so it needs your uh, password so just I'm using the same password I used to log into this account so do the same thing it should work for you um, okay good enough next you'll see unit booting and you'll see that it's uh, the, the radio button is highlighted on distribution well we don't want to do that we want to go, go down to disk image and then the next option is ISO and that's correct then we browse for it and as you can see it's pointing to root we want to go to my home directory so I'll just do this manually here we'll go to the root directory go to home and there's my username and then we're going to go to the desktop folder 
and then you'll see that there's an ISO file there, hirons.bootcd.15.2.iso. Click on open that, and it's just about ready to go. Uh, it says type USB drive, that's what we have, and the drive is at de uh, slash dev slash sdb1, which we already verified with the disk utility. So we know it's going to be putting the data into the right place, and we click OK. And then it begins. Now this is not the final step. We need to do one more um, change to the file structure on this disk for it to actually boot correctly. But once we do, I'll show you that. So we'll wait for this to finish here. I actually use this disk to uh, uh, crack a BIOS password on this particular computer yesterday. And it worked pretty well, actually. So um, I'm very happy with the results from that. And uh, I'm going to make a video on how to do that with, uh, uh, with this utility later on. Right now, I'm just going to concentrate on this. Sorry for the delay here. It's stuck on 2%, but it's not really. It's going it's going forward. It's just not showing me the progress. There we go. It's just giving you an idea of how long this is going to take. USB thumb drives aren't the fastest things, but uh they are a lot faster than than actually running off the CD, I found. And much easier to carry around. Sorry for the delay, guys. Just so you know, I do have another video that shows you how to do this on a CD instead of a, a USB key. I found some systems are a little finicky about running with a USB key, but they work great with a CD. So I would say if you're doing this, um, you know, don't rely on just one system. Make yourself the CD and make yourself the USB key. I would resort, you know, I would uh, first resort to the key and uh, then go to the CD. Um, if you have any issues number one number two they also have to know how to make your BIOS uh, boot off the USB key which I'll show you on and in this is the instance how to do that not a big deal but uh, important because if it's not set up to do so it will not boot off the key okay we're 96 percent here we're almost done when it's done we're gonna open it up on the bootloader. Now it asks you to reboot. You don't want to. So uh, we're going to hit exit here. Then we're going to click on my USB key. And you'll see all the files are there again. Now what you need to do is you need to go to the HBCD folder, subfolder, on the uh, USB key. In here you'll see an ISO Linux dot cfg file and you want to rename that so right click it choose rename and what you're going to do is take the first three letters off the ISO Linux and change them from ISO to SYS so Sierra Yankee Sierra and uh, leave the rest alone so it should be SYS Linux dot cfg and uh, as you can see there it is then we're going to take the sys-linux.cfg file, copy it, and we're going to copy it onto, root, onto the root directory of the uh, USB thumb drive. So just right click here, paste, and it will tell you, hey, you know, do you want to re replace the current Linux, sys-linux.cfg file? And you, of course, want to say yes. So we replace it, and that's done. Then we close this off. 
and uh, restart the computer and I'll uh, uh, continue this video um, showing you how to boot this uh, actual uh, USB Hiren's USB CD uh, key okay so I'll be right with you okay well here's my laptop booting up and uh, as you'll see in the bottom I have F2 Let's hopefully get it in focus F2 to enter setup or F12 to change uh, my boot order okay and there's my little USB key inside my laptop so what we want to do is boot this laptop off the USB key and the easiest way to do that is hit F12 as it says now your computer may be different it might have escape or F2 or uh, F8 it, it'll usually give you a uh, an indication if not you know, consult your your manual or consult the internet for specific settings on your computer on how to get the BIOS um, to boot off that uh, USB key. I'll show you two ways. Number one, I'm going to go into the setup, so I'm going to hit F2. Okay, and I'm in the setup, and if you see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have boot here, so that's where I want to go, boot. And you can see that it's already set to boot off the USB. The second it's set to boot off USB CD, and then the third is the uh, actual internal IDE hard drive. Okay, so you know, in, in this case, to change the values, um, you can go. Let me see. I believe it's F5 and F6 on this. Yeah, F5 and 6. So please bear with me. And you, see, you can see it's changing, right? So what you want is to have your USB, in my case, USB H, HDD SAN disk or Cruiser Edge. That's what it's, my USB key is called. But yours may be called differently, but basically get it so that it boots off the USB device first. <clears throat> Here, then you would say save changes, which is F10. So save and exit. And now, so yes. Now that's the hard way of doing it. The easy way with my laptop is just to hit F12, and it gives you an option. It says, uh, you know, USB hard drive or IDE. It's your choice. So I'm going to choose that. And boom, I'm right into the Hirens boot CD configuration main menu, which gives me Windows, Mini XP, um, Mini Windows XP the DOS programs, Linux based rescue, all the other, all the nice features I'm going to DOS programs and uh, my next thing, next video I'm going to make is uh, um, just a review on the BIOS and CMOS tools which uh, actually were able to get me the password off this laptop so um, if you bear with me or not bear with me but thank you for watching and uh, that's how you get the uh, Hirons all-in-one boot CD 15.2 uh, on a USB key and uh, make it bootable. Uh, lots of luck and uh, once again be careful with this tool because it's very very powerful. Thank you.